Today on Midday at 12.30, the Family Wealth Group is here with some details about the new SECURE Act. Plus, it's almost time for the big game. We have a registered dietitian with easy snack ideas for your game party. This is Midday Kentucky. Afternoon. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining us on Midday at 1230. I'm Amber Freeman. And I'm Adam Banks. How you doing, Adam? Amber, I'm doing okay. Had a, my weekend started off pretty good, and then, of course, in the light of everything that happened yesterday, uh, it really uh, started to go bad. I just things, I uh, can't, really can't believe that Kobe Bryant died yesterday in a plane accident. A helicopter. Yeah, yeah helicopter. no, it's um, it's kind of the news that has shocked and devastated so many people around the world. We'll just jump right into that. It's a catastrophe everyone's talking about. One of the greatest players in NBA history has died. Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash around 1 p.m. Eastern Time Sunday afternoon in Southern California. Witnesses reported seeing the plane going down quickly. Now, we're starting to get reports of what actually has happened in this. It's going to take a long time for the entire report to come out. I think I saw somewhere usually it takes about 10 days. I'm guessing with this case it's going to be expedited a little bit, but just from witness accounts, they say it slammed into a hillside, burst into flames. Nine people were on the helicopter, including Kobe's 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, and no one survived in that crash. Kobe was only 41 years old. Seeing that in print, I think, after this happened was just, I don't know, I, I guess you always think the people you grow up with and, and watch are ageless, and to see an actual age on there, I think that really, really caught a lot of people. Of course, he was an 18-time All-Star, five NBA championships, and two Olympic gold medals. He was part of the Lakers for 20 years. It's the only team he's ever been a part of in the NBA. That's incredible loyalty. And unfortunately, there were other victims who died in the Sunday helicopter crash as well. Mm -hmm. They've started to release some of those names. Deceased Christina Mauser, she was an assistant girls basketball coach at a private school in Orange County, California. College baseball coach John Altabelli, his daughter Alyssa, and his wife Carrie were all on that. It, um, it's devastating on, on so many accounts. It is. We lost an American icon yesterday. Not even American. I mean, worldwide. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he kind of did that. He was an ambassador for the sport for so many other countries. I mean, I think he was a fan favorite in China and, and, and everything that he stood for in light of the game just yeah, that's that goes all around the world. Basketball's huge around the world. It is. And when you hear news like what we heard yesterday morning, it stops you in your tracks. And that's literally what it did to me. For 10 minutes, I was just frozen, flipping through articles, trying to find out, is it real? Is it fake? Because you just don't think somebody like Kobe Bryant dies, the Black Mamba, who we're used to seeing the last 20 years show nothing but just toughness and grit. And to hear that he died in a helicopter accident was... Um, it, it was shocking, and I, I mean, I think everybody was shocked, and I think this will be one of the things that we will always remember. You'll always remember where you were when you heard the news that Kobe Bryant passed. It's, it's definitely hard for a lot of people, and condolences to all of their family members. I can't even imagine what they're <sighs> going through right now, um, so it's, it's a tough one, and we're going to go from that because you could talk about that all day long, mm -hmm. and I mean, networks have been doing that, rightfully so. Um, the Grammys were on last night as well. Talk about a tough day in L.A. They went right from that to going over to Staples Center and having the Grammy Awards. Did you watch? I did not. I was actually watching the Royal Rumble last night, so I missed the Grammys. But I did see some highlights this morning. What is a Royal Rumble? <laughs> it's a 30-man battle. You need to watch it if you've never seen it. No, and I, I, already I don't need to watch it. It's a 30-man battle, and every two minutes somebody enters the ring and to eliminate somebody, you have to throw them over the top rope. That sounds awful. It was, it's great. I'm, it's I'm not into the whole <laughs> violence kind of thing. It's, uh, I don't know about that. But I did watch the Grammys. They, of course, did kind of an impromptu um, Boys to Men came out mm -hmm. and sang with Alicia Keys for a little bit for Kobe, which I thought was nice because it takes forever to put these award shows together, their entire productions, obviously, and then to 
add something in like that. They did a nice job. Mm -hmm. um, so you didn't watch any of it? I, 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 I Adam, saw do some... you realize you do a lifestyle <laughs> show and this is part of your homework? I saw some highlights this morning, so throw it at me. I, I'm ready to, to see what we're talking about. Because I watched a little bit of the grant. I'm telling what you. What did you watch? You tell me. I saw where Alicia Keys said that this is the house that Kobe built. And so you saw the very beginning. Well, and I, I saw some. I saw some highlights of awards. I know Billie Eilish had a big night. She did have a big night. Yeah. Are you a fan of her? Uh, I, no, I'm not. I, I do like that song, uh, "Bad Guy," though. It won a lot. Yes. Um, they had Aerosmith came out. I do like Aerosmith. Did you see that with Run DMC? <sighs> I didn't. Okay, did you see, please tell me you at least, I was so excited when they released that Prince was going to have a tribute done by Usher and Sheila E. Did you mm -hmm. watch that? No, but any time you have Prince on there, man, that's going to be excellent. I did not watch the Grammys, okay? I'm sorry. I watched highlights. You know it's award season, and, <laughs> and you will come on on Mondays, and I'm going to need you to watch award shows I will on do Sundays. My, I will do my homework for the Oscars. I'm just kidding. Um, I was bummed. I thought Usher did a good job. I didn't know he could sing that high, but Sheila E didn't sing, and I was devastated about that because I was more excited about that than actually Usher. But... Good night uh, for the Grammys. There was a lot of winners, a lot of uh, big names out there. Did Always. Lizzo sing? Lizzo did sing. She, oh. she opened the show. Oh, I love Lizzo. But anyways, all right. Let us know what you think. Stay with us. We have a good show. We're going to help you get your money right, and we're going to help you get your snacks right. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back.